Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Transport Fever 2 on this Continental America map. Uh, this was created by Spirin. It's on the Steam Workshop. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. But uh, this is a map I've been wanting to play for a while. Uh, obviously because I'm from America. But it's cool. You know, it's 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 so big. Like it's, it's megalomaniac size. So like it's really good. Really big. Uh, a lot, a lot to see and do on a map of this size, but also because there's, you know, there's a lot of challenge because he has uh, meticulously placed all the industry relative to, you know, where they're, for the most part, really located in, in the country. So, like, for instance, you know, out here in Nebraska, you got a bunch of farms. Um, probably could use some farms down here because uh, I know for a fact there's farms down there. But, you know, like, there's oil down here in Texas. Like, you know, that's real, so... Uh, but I do have uh, a couple mods on. Uh, I have the twi double. That doesn't look doubled, actually. I don't think it's actually working. That sucks. Well, I did have the uh, the industry times two mod on. Yeah, I had the industry times two mod on to you know obviously make it bigger because I, I don't know if everything that we have on here can't supply everything but I guess I guess we'll find out uh, and I have more line colors on too but well, actually well, it is on because here I can place more um, which I don't really plan on doing if I feel the need to later like if I can't support all the cities because you know for whatever reasons there's just not enough then maybe I'll add one uh, but not for now um, so I have already looked at the map a little bit, like, so th there's good lines like this right here that we can get started to make some easy early money, just, you know, building up Atlanta. Uh, same thing here with Houston. Uh, I did, I do remember, I did try the map out a while ago, uh, back in like January for like a day. And I tried to, I tried training this in and uh, it was, I mean, it was profitable, but it, you know, it, it, the line was, the margin was was very, very close. So I think I think starting here is going to be more effective as as funneling all this in. Uh, so what my plans are, uh, I want to start here in the southeast corner in Florida, because that's where I currently live. Um, ooh, we got to make a fix there. Who needs Tampa? Orlando is the better city, ooh, ooh, even though it is technically over here. Um, so... I want to kind of stay true, or not exactly true, more like my take on how it would work in re or how it works in real life. So obviously, like Atlanta uh, is going to be a hub. So I want to make it like Atlanta a hub, like you know, have train lines come feeding it in, and then like in a big airport. Uh, same thing with like New York, uh, wherever Chicago is. Chicago. I was actually thinking about this early before I started having like all the east coast flights coming in there and all the west coast flights like coming into chicago and literally like having to maybe have two or three airports to accommodate that since chicago o'hare is you know ginormous and a two taxiway or two runway airport really doesn't do it justice uh so enough talking i can talk while i do stuff i just have a hard time multitasking sometimes uh, so we're going to go ahead and connect that in. Oh, I'm also starting on 1850 and I put it on medium as opposed to hard because like I said, I did start, um, I did try it a while ago for like a day and it was just really hard to turn money. Uh, it would have taken a while. So I didn't, you know, not that I don't want like a challenge. I don't like an impossible challenge. That's the wrong button. Let's make it nice and big. Get it. Eh, right come on right there all right and then we'll just have it be right next to here which this might actually no it won't supply anything and then we'll have a drop off why is there one lone brick debt back there that makes no sense and we'll just have the drop off right there so we'll have a short little line of one two three and we'll call it truck. 
Atlant or ATL uh, brick. I know it's technically construction materials, but brick is just so much easier to keep track of because it looks like a brick. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw a road depot down. Oh, I kind of lost my train of thought what I was talking about. So I want to keep it kind of like in real life with hubs and stuff. Um, at one point, you know, do a highway system across the whole country, stuff like that. Trains, airplanes, you know, maybe some boats if they require it, like boats some from fuel right here would be beneficial. Um, and even up here to, to mobile. Actually, I think I remember, I think I did do a boat from there to there whenever I tried it. I got, I got a little ways into it, not not super far, but I kind of it's kind of coming back now as I think about it. Um, the thing I don't like about the map is some, you know, cities take two, like Atlanta, which is a hub, and it makes sense to make it nice and big. But like New Orleans, New, or New Orleans, or New Orleans, however you want to pronounce it, I don't know, there's so many different ways. Um, that takes two. I wouldn't call it a hub. But like Orlando... To me, or, or, or sorry, Tampa, technically. I don't know. I just, I would prefer if all the cities had two, two goods that they wanted to take in. Like, Washington takes two. That makes sense. New York takes two. That makes sense. But, like, Albany, why? Anyway, enough complaints because the, the, you know, credits to Spear, and he put in a lot of work into this, and it, it looks amazing. It's just, you know, gripes of mine. I could probably go in and, like, a map editor and change it, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to play it how the map comes for the most part. Like I said, I have a really hard time multitasking. Okay, back over here. Let's buy some vehicles. Uh, oh, yeah, I got the poo-poos. So let's start with, let's start with 10, and we're going to throw that on there. Go ahead and get it started. So... This is only taking 41, which that shipping out 100. So it's only a rate of 33. So we're probably going to have to get more on this line. We'll see. We'll see how that works out here in a minute. So what else can we get set up and start rolling? Uh, we can, like I said, we can set this up. If we wanted to, I also, oh yeah, I also wish the Mississippi, I think it's technically this right here, like this is the Missouri River, this is the Mississippi River. I wish the Mississippi was wide enough to be traversable. I don't believe it is. Uh, I mean, you'd have to widen it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, you would have to, I'd have to do some major widening like here and there to get it actually usable, but... You know, it'd be cool to ship boats up and down it, but it's just, it's, it's not wide enough. Uh, so, we would take fuel to Orlando, too. Let's see, do they want to go anywhere? Oh, there's a little bit going to Orlando. So, like, I, I would love to be able to set up, you know, I'll go ahead and set up, like, a passenger train line from here to Orlando, then, like, one right here, and just buzz these guys in and take it right up in Atlanta. That's what I'm gonna do. I can't really do that right now. Uh, I could also bring some brick from here over to Savannah if I wanted to work on getting that bigger. Uh, Birmingham takes bread as well. Music goes hard in this game, let's be honest. So it's, it's shipping and it's consuming at 100, so... Like I said, we'll let, we'll let, uh, let that run. I'm also going to turn, I think I'm going to let the, I think I'm going to let the time, no, no, I take that back. We're going to let the time run on one until like 1870 when I get some better vehicles that are not confined to these poo poo carriages right here, whatever you want to call them. Um, so... What we want to later, we can funnel that in. Oh, build a small bridge there. Get some brick there. Hmm. Nothing is really popping. Ah, I take that back. This would be good for a boat line right here. And maybe create a little harbor in here. Oh, it's auto saving, but good thing we're not building anything. Make a little harbor in here and pick up wood 
bring it over here, drop it off the planks, bring it over here, drop it off, turn it into tools, and then bring it back here to Halifax. Now, where does... Oof. Could it cover it all? Here's the question. If I put... I put was to put one right here can't what can it cover it can't cover anything because it's so low uh so one of the worst things about harbors is that you can't can't really raise you can't raise and lower them so okay well, we're just gonna do two separate ones then we'll we'll stick this bad boy also i want to go ahead and slap no i don't want to slap large on nope that is very expensive well, first off, let's see what we can even carry. 70. Okay. We're good. We're good. We can we can make it work. So we'll put this dude. We'll put him right there. We'll just get a little street in here. Get it connected right there. Boom. And that should cover. Yes, it'll cover all the tools. And then we'll put this dude, put him right there. And just turn put that there. All right, so those are connected. I got those two hooked up. Uh, yes, this is the tricky part. How far out? Ooh, forgot about that. I probably should have waited, but you know, who cares? We could probably pull this in. I'm gonna flatten it. We'll keep this up. I don't know if it'll auto update as I flatten stuff. Oh, no, it doesn't, but as long as it's traversable, that's what matters. Also, look at the big square -y boy here. So it's not, it's a little expensive. I take that back. Oh, it's so, oh, it's right there. I just gotta get it back just a little bit and then I can, I can make this work. Oh, come on, work with me. Yes, there we go. That's what, I, that's what I like to see. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then we'll just slap another one right here. Boom, instant profit. Wait, what was first? Okay, so we go here, then here to the planks, back here to Boston, and then right back to Halifax. So we're gonna call this C, um, Hal, tools easy and let's get one of our what should we put on it we're gonna do this we're gonna we're gonna put the riggy on it and then this guy there we go should start shipping him out pretty but yeah pretty quickly oh i might already need to upgrade that wait that says passenger you take all so Oh, uh, yeah, cool. So we got two lines set up. Uh, no, the brick's already being profitable, but we do not have enough cars on it, which is what I was afraid of, because we only have a rate of 35. So let's double this. And 71. Um, I think five more. Oh, so close. Maybe another 92, 96, 99. Perfect. All right, one extra. And just to be safe, I'll slap one more on there. To, oh, and we're going to run out anyway. But so Atlanta has already gotten bricks and it's show oh, it's spiked big. Cool. That's what I like to. That's what I like to see. Making money. Oh my lord. Oh shoot. 
I'm gonna need to get multiple guys on this one. Uh, so goods. Maybe it is doing double. Is it doing? Oh, I think wood. I think. I think it has a two X on. I think it's doing what it's supposed to. Oh, Halifax is gonna explode. For sure. Well, I also set this up pretty. I could put a passenger, passenger port here, and then just. And this covers almost all of Halifax. Covers enough, I would say, that I wouldn't need to put buses there. But I can passenger and then pass and bust them in here and there. Oh, and as I drop off the wood here, I can truck it over to here, bring some steel in, and then boom, right into Boston. Oh my gosh, wait, Boston takes this too. What am I doing? In me how how cheap is it to just just yeah cool that is not not cheap, or not expensive I should say and then we can put a truck stop up right in there and we'll have it drop right there so this is truck Boston uh what's it called tools Truck Boston tools, cool. So then as these have tools delivered to them, holy cow, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to get you two of those, especially because two cities are gonna be demanding tools here in a second. So we'll get, we'll just get five of them on here for now. I definitely know it's gonna need more. Like that's for, that's 100% going to need more uh, why is it maybe it's because nothing has been shipped here yet can I borrow more I can how much were you only 500 five six yeah we're gonna need this is at a rate of 400 and my C is at a rate of 18 so let's get like four of these guys on Rate of 71. That is poo poo. But if we lose some, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But okay, so we got a little bit more money to work with now that I took out that loan. Honestly, I'm really tempted just to throw more on there for now, just just because C, C things can make so much money. Like, I, he's guaranteed it's going to make all that money back and then some. Yeah, well, uh, not as much as I was hoping, but no, no, you're going to stay. You're going to wait and pick up these planks that just got delivered so that you... Hey, turn around, sir. Turn around to Halifax Port. No. Just go back. Halt. That's what I wanted you to go to. Okay, go to that. This is the Portland port. We're going to rename this to... Uh, Portland Timber Port. Just so, have you know, name stuff a little bit better. Easier to find and see what it is later. Uh, this is really Boston slash Portland Tools Port. Because it's right smack in the middle of them. At Halifax Halt. Halifax. We'll keep the Halt just for some different, you know, nomenclature. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with that. That's going to start making money, no problem. Uh, we're going to tell the tools, though, to wait until they're loaded, and it's, it's going to take them a while. So right now, it's really just, you know, waiting for waiting for some more money to come in. Uh, Jacksonville, they're using some. Miami, so I mean, it could, after a while, be profitable to run this line here. Oh, I could also, if I wanted to get super extreme on the boats, I could set a direct shipping line from Boston down here to Miami. And I have the money. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. 
uh, just to start getting Miami built up too. Because once once Miami starts getting built up, you know the rest of them are gonna kind of follow suit. Well, not follow suit, but they'll be demanding more travel. Oh, it's auto saving. You know there'll be more travel demand, which means it'll be more opportunity to build a nice little train line up here. Um, so this will be easy. Just right there. Down to here. That is Miami Port for sure. Oh, that's going to be so beautiful. If I ever need a reason for a port later, just making it so big. I have all that space. Uh, so C, Miami Tools. And then, uh, yeah, I just need to get a, just need to get a boat on that. Uh, it was this one, yes. Yeah, this one. Uh, we're gonna put two on there because it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while. For sure, it's gonna take a hot minute. So consuming, nothing is being consumed yet. But this guy is uh, finally doing something. So they got seventy. He's got seventy. He's got seventy. Let's check the rate on the line. Uh, it is still 65. It's so low. But he just dropped off tools. Our stuff for tools. The consuming Boston, Miami are two. Halifax, one. All right, cool. I just need to keep, you know, expanding the, honestly, the Halifax line. Because of how... Uh... I lose my train of thought a lot. I apologize. I'm really bad at multitasking. I just need to keep, you know, I'll, I'll need to expand this line bigger and bigger to hopefully God, keep up with demand. That's the word I was looking for. It, you know, took me a minute. I figured it out. Do you have tools? You do have tools. Look at you. And then there's, oh, beautiful. A magisterial. Okay, how's our little buddy Atlanta doing? That's good. 78 is in there. Shipping 100. My rate on the Atlanta brick is 102. So it should be able to keep up. It's not gonna, it's probably gonna hover around this because I have the rates exactly the same. It's just gonna keep that stockpile in there. Um, which is good. Or not. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, I think I will go ahead and start building up Tallahassee here too. And I think I'll call it. Uh, do I want to call it good after this? Because like I feel like I'm kind of flying through. Not really flying through, considering I you know haven't exactly turned a profit. I turned a profit in 1854. That's nice. Um, but no, the rest of the years I haven't really turned a profit, but like I've already set up four lines But you know, it's a, it's a simulation game. You gotta wait for simulate. We're gonna we're gonna do it anyway, so let's Let's get that connected in um, Do I want to build a different road? I don't think I'm gonna build a different road. No eh. No biggie what I can do, I can switch what side these bad boys are on, and then put that there, put a street axis on the other side so that they just funnel right out, help keep the traffic down. And then we need a truck station here. Yeah, they'll be fine to get there, so we're going to have... One, two, three. Oh, we're gonna change the name of this one to Tally Food Factory. Cool. Line one is truck tal uh, food. I kind of have three tool lines already. Like it's oof. Oh man, this guy was heading straight there from the port. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he's got tools to drop off. That's awesome. Um, 
they are still not very good, but uh, Miami Tools, I wonder how much that, that'll make. I hope it's a lot. Uh, I have a feeling that it won't be just because of how slow it takes to get there. Uh, but I have my hopes up. So we'll check back on that probably next episode. Let me finish this line real quick. Um, horse drawn carriage. We're going to go with, we're going to say 10. And tally food. Oh, he is pumping it out already. Tallahassee only takes 19, but the frequency on the food is only 27. So I'll probably have to up that one even more. And this is also kind of why I want to get out of the 1850s as fast as possible. Because these, these vehicles are slow and they cannot carry anything. I mean, they can carry four things, but it's really not that much. But I, I like how much Atlanta has already doubled its population. Um, that's nice. <laughs> and these, he's just going to sit on 71 because that's all that it's demanding. 100, so nice, nice, nice. I could... Uh, is there any point in that though? I was gonna say I could, instead of shipping directly to Miami, pick up planks. And it could be beneficial because then I could increase the rate. I could have them pick up logs up there. So I could have them pick up logs, drop them here, but instead of them going here back to Halifax, have it come down to this tool factory down here drop off, pick up, drop in Miami, and then go back. The only issue is, as all the deadheading from back to Miami, like there's nothing, there's nothing for it to take back unless I somehow brought steel in. Like maybe. Dang, you all are so slow. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Why is that line so far out like that, dude? Why are you not taking the most direct route, which is straight there? What the heck? Oh, Lord. Anyway. Um, yeah, not really. There's not really anything I could take back unless I took people back, but then I'm only taking people one way, and that's kind of silly. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that for now. Uh, I'm going to let it run for a little bit to, you know, crank up money, see how it does. Uh, next time, I'm going to hopefully be able to get a train line in somewhere, either here, uh, maybe training in oil from Midland, and actually, you know, doing it here, trucking these in just right here, and then taking it back. Um, I would do this one as opposed to this one, because this would... You know, theoretically, I would get more money from here to here and here to here than opposed to just, oh, hey, I'm going to take it here, 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 and then go. Um, if I do need more money or, you know, more more crude oil, I, I'll just truck this in when I get better trucks. But yeah, so whew, good first episode, I think, you know, got got some lines that are going to hopefully be profitable once they make a delivery. <coughs> you, sir. Ah, uh, he's so close. So close. Um, but yeah, so like our brick line's doing fine. Uh, once we get better vehicles, you know, we'll get more money. But uh, yeah, just to recap real quick, like I said, I want to, you know, hubs, Atlanta, New York, all that. Get train lines all over the place, have airports. Um, I want to have min not minimal airports, but I think I want to reserve airports for the hubs for the most part. So like... Like I was saying, Atlanta, New York, Chicago. I wanna. I think I'm gonna keep it for those, and I'm gonna just funnel everything into my hubs, and then they can go from there. Um, not only for profitability, but also like it'll look kind of cool, you know. Only have a few airports, but I don't know. I think it's a cool idea. Hopefully, it works out how I'm hoping. Um, well, I could get grain down here and feed these both. That's long for just a, for just a train and nothing to take back though. It kind of sucks. But hey, we're, we're going to make this work, you know? 
we're, we're gonna get it done so i will check back with you guys next time thank you for watching if you guys liked it you know like and subscribe helps me out leave me comments down below on you know ideas of what i should do what can i improve on and uh yeah so i'll see you guys next time bye